We will guide you through how to make a modded Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, you need to go and open up a web browser. So personally, I like to go and use Google Chrome, but you can use any browser you'd like, and then go to a search engine like Google. Then you want to go and search for something called Forge. Forge is basically a program which allows you to go and run mods in Minecraft, and we can also use it to make a modded Minecraft server as well. So go and search for it like so, and then make sure you go to the official website, which is this one here, download to Minecraft Forge, files.minecraftforge.net. Then here we are on the website. Now it's important to note that because we're going to be hosting our own server, to go and allow people to join, we're going to be giving out our IP address, which you'd, you should only give out to people you trust and would essentially let them into your house because your IP address is a pretty personal thing. So if you don't want to do that and you want to make more of a public server, then our sponsor Apex Hosting may be a better option. Apex Hosting are my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got one click install mod packs, which is super useful. They've got 24 seven servers and support, which means people can join your server at any time, because if you're making your own modded server, the server will only be online when you've got it, the program running on your computer with your computer online as well. So that's why Apex may be a better option and they've got a ton more awesome features as well so if you're interested in them I'll put a link in the description and in the pinned comment as well but back to the guide you need to decide what version of Forge you want so the main thing is to know is that the version of Forge and the mods you install need to be the exact same version so if there's a specific mod you want you should find out what versions are available in that and then you can get that same version with Forge however there's no specific mod I want so I just want to get the latest version of Forge which is 1.20.2 so you can see all the different versions on the left here. Once you've got the version selected, we can then go and click on installer to go and start the download. You'll get taken to an add wall. Just be careful here because the download buttons are for the add, not for forge. You'll need to wait for the top right and then there'll be a skip button you can click on and the download will then begin. Just like that, it's now downloaded. So now that we've got Forge downloaded, let's get some mods. So open up a new tab and then what you want to do is go and search for Curse Forge. They're a trusted place to get mods from, but you can go to any place you want to get your own mods, it's up to you, just what I use. Then click on Minecraft and we can then go and see some mods. So you can search for a mod, you can see the latest ones. I'm just gonna go down to popular mods and I just quite like to use this one here, just enough items, it's super useful. So click on the mod you want, then click on files and then you wanna come down here, and what you need to do is make sure you get the same version of Forge, which was for me was 1.20.2, and we need to make sure we get the same mod loader as well, which is Forge. So this top one here is fine for me, so I can come over to the right, click on the three dots, and click on download file. Then the download will begin in a few seconds, but what you can do is go and download some other mods as well, just make sure that the same game version and that they're for Forge. Then once we've got that, we can go and come off of our web browser for now and you need to open up your file explorer and go to your downloads and then you should go and have Forge and any mods you downloaded. So go and select them and then go and drag them onto your desktop just like so. So just before we get any further as well, it's important to note that anybody who joins your server will need to be running the same version of Forge. So in this case, 1.20.2 and also the same mod and mod version, right? So they will need to install Forge as well. Now that's out the way, we need to go and install Forge. So go and double click on it like so, and you should go and get the mod system installer. Now, if a file or folder or another application opens up or it doesn't open up at all, this is because you don't have Java installed. So go and open up a browser and open up a new tab and go and search for Java. Go and search for Java and then make sure you go to java.com. And what you'll need to do is download Java by clicking here and then go and install it. It's super simple. After you've installed it, come back to Forge and you need to click on it once and then right click on it, press open with and click on choose another app and you need to find Java TM platform SE binary, click on it and then click on always and that should then go and launch. If it still isn't launching, you may need to run something called a jar fix and that will reassociate jar and Java files. We've got a full guide on that which I'll link down in the description which you can go and follow. So once you've got the mod system installer, we're gonna to need to install it for our own Minecraft client, which is the like our Minecraft launcher basically, and then we'll install it as the server as well. So firstly, we'll install it as the client, so click okay. And what's important to note is that everybody who joins the server will also need to install it as the client as well. Once it's finished, it will go and say successfully installed client profile forge. 
and you can then go and click OK like this. Now what we'll need to do is go and open up Forge again and install it for the server. But just before we get any further, we want to go and create a new folder for the server. So just come onto your desktop and right click, then press on new, create a folder, and you can name this Minecraft server, just like so. Then go and run Forge again. Now that we went through that troubleshooting sort of steps earlier, you should open up fine. And you want to click on install server. And then it will then say there are files already at the target directory. So what we need to do is click on the three dots, your file explorer will open, click on desktop, and then go and find that folder we just created, which is Minecraft server, click on open like that. And that's it. Then you go and click OK and it's going to go and start the process. So just wait. Once it's finished, it will go and say complete. Click OK and it will close off. So then what you want to do is double click on your Minecraft server folder. And as you can see, you can see some stuff in here. Go and run the run.bat file just here by double clicking on it. And if you go and get this error here, this is likely because you need another version of Java. So let's go and close off this and we'll open up a web browser. Come back to java.com and what you need is the Java SE development kit. So go and click on it down here. If you can't see it, just Google it and make sure you go to the official Java website. Then we can scroll down and select Windows and then we'll go and get the installer. So click here and wait for it to finish downloading and then we can go and install it. Once it's finished downloading, go to your downloads and once again, just go and install it. After you've installed it, you can close off of your downloads and then go back to your Minecraft server folder and run the run.bat file just like so. And then it will go and say you need to agree to the EULA. So close off this and we now have a few more folders here and files and you need to open up the EULA.txt. And as you can see, it then says by changing this setting below to true, you're indicating your agreement to the EULA. So make sure you read the EULA and you agree to it. Personally, I already have and I agree to it. So I'll change from that from false to true and then go and press on file and go and press save. You can then close off of it. And then you want to go and run the run.bat file again and it should then go and launch. You'll go and get this Minecraft server window open up. And if you just go and move across here, you can go and see the progress and uh, preparing the spawn area. You've now successfully gone and ran it. But now what we want to do is go and install the mod. So you can close off this like so, and then it will go and close off the server. And what we need to do is go and move the mod into the mods folder. Now remember, as I said earlier, as well as installing the mod into the server, we need to install it into our own client as well, as well as everybody who will join it will need to do the same. So what I like to do is go and right click on the mod and press on copy up here. And then I'll go and paste it into the mods folder like so, and that's it. Then you can go and run the server again. So I'll close off that there, open up the folder, and then go and click on run.bat again. Now your server will go and launch again. And while that launches, let's open up our own Minecraft. So we'll open up the Minecraft launcher. And now to install the mod on our Minecraft client, go to the top and click on installations and scroll down until you go and see Forge. As you can see here it is. Go over to the right and click on this folder icon. You'll need to be hovering over it. And this will open up your Minecraft files and you need to scroll down and locate the mods folder and go and double click on it. If you can't see one, then just go and create one. So right click in an empty space, go on you, and then you can click on a folder, then go into it. And what you need to do is go and move the mod into it. So let me go and find my mod now. I'll just go and find it in another file explorer. To go and open another one, you just right click on it and press on file explorer again. Here it is, and then I'll go and drag it into the mods folder, just like so. And then what you want to do is in the launcher, go and press on play, and go to the left of the play button and you need to get locate forge as you can see here it is and then go and click on play again and you need to agree to this stuff here i already read it before so then it's going to go and launch here we are in minecraft and you'll know that forge is working because you've got this mods button so go and click on it and we can see the mod just enough items so now to go and join the server, all you need to do is click on multiplayer, port forwarding, and that's where you're setting up so people can go and use your own IP to join your server, which is why it's best to only give it to friends and people you trust, because of course that can be quite a personal thing because people can find out where you are um, and other security things as well. So we'll do that in a separate video. 
But for now, just to show it works, we'll go and join it by clicking join like so. And then here we are on the server. And to show you the mod is installed, if I go and pause it, as you can see, we can go and see just enough items. And what it does is it goes to give you recipes. So you can pause the game and see that the recipe to go and create per per stairs is per per blocks. As I said before, to go and get your friends to join, you'll need to go and do something called port forwarding so they can then connect by using your IP. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.